How are we doing guys? Welcome back to a new video and in today's video I'm going to show you how I took this really average looking rubbish photo of myself and placed myself into a different environment whilst adding some 3D parallax motion to the photo itself. All done inside Adobe After Effects and it's really not that difficult to do even though it might look a little bit complicated. I'm going to take you through it step by step. There will also be timestamps down in the description as well if you want to skip to any part in particular and also down in the description I've got a link to a playlist of all the other editing tutorials that I've done in the past so you might fancy checking some of those out as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you find it useful in any way and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials or videos in the future and yeah with that being said let's jump straight in and get going on this tutorial. All right so here in After Effects and got the four things that I need. So the one is picture of myself just literally in my place just <laughs> leaning down looking ridiculous and second some leaves as a PNG picture of like a background picture which is of a forest so first thing we want to do is just come up to here composition make a new composition 1080 by 1920 because I want it to be used for Instagram All right, so the first thing we can do is just bring in the picture of myself it's a little bit too big for the composition so I'm just gonna scale it down so it sort of fits around about there is good just gonna also bring it up a little bit when wearing my flip-flops ridiculous I'm gonna try and put myself into a forest wearing flip-flops I didn't really think of that one so basically all I want to do is just uh, mask myself out of here pretty much and uh, a few ways obviously you can do that you can use the pen tool and go around and do a you know a detail mask all the way around uh, that works for some situations quite well but it can take a bit of time so the way I'm gonna so I'm just going to double click on the picture layer, go up here to this uh, icon up here, which is the rotor brush tool, select rotor brush, and I'm just going to paint around myself and just come over here to the left and choose best, just to get the best possible result. I'm just going to paint in this area and I'll just speed through this bit, but basically, like I say, you just want to paint yourself out. Also, if you want to make the brush smaller, just click uh, control and then just drag your mouse and then you have a little bit of a smaller brush so you can get these little smaller areas. And if you ever need to bring something back, you can just hold down Alt and it will turn red and then you can just repaint over stuff. All right, once you've done that, go up here and go back into your main composition. As you can see, I painted myself out, but that's okay. If you just if you just come down here to where the clip is and go into your effects, see where it says rotor brush and refine edge, invert foreground, background, just turn that on and I've been painted out. Usually the edges will be pretty dodgy at this point, as you can see here. So if you just go up here and just type in refine soft matte, drag that on and it will just go in and uh, soften up the edges and refine it a little bit so that it doesn't look too rough. So once you've done that, just right click, pre-compose it, move all attributes to a new comp composition, double click it and just bring in this work area to just make it as small as you can, just one frame only. Just right click, trim comp to work area and you just want to go up to file, export, add to render queue, come down here to where it says lossless, Make it a PNG sequence, format options, compression, none, and make sure you've got RGB plus alpha turned on, and then just save it uh, wherever you want, however you want to name it, and press render. Once that's done, go back into your main composition, and you can just go file, import, and just bring it in to your project bin, and then bring it into your composition and you can just delete the one underneath it and that will basically mean that you've just got a transparent picture or I've just got a transparent picture of myself there okay so that's the first step done next thing we want to do is just bring in the other stuff so bring in that background forest picture to put it in behind myself and also all the leaves so I'll bring in the leaf here and I think all these uh, pictures and stuff might need to just be sort of scaled down or played with a little bit and i'm going to bring down the scale of the leaf and basically because i got this the way i did this picture um all i'm going to do just going to call it rename it to leaf leaves just going to solo it for now and i'm going to go in and basically make masks around each one so that i can get all of these 
leaves isolated so because you've got one two three five six seven eight leaves just going to go here and have it selected and press ctrl d so that i have this eight times i'll speed this up but i'll just show you the first one and just going to take the pen tool and just going to mask around each one of the leaves just so that we get them all separate if you obviously have like all your PNG pictures of leaves um, individually already ready to go, then don't worry about this step. Uh, um, but yeah, because I've got them all in one, I've got to do this. So I'm just going to go through each one and just do masks around each one. Okay, so I've done that. So that means if we look here, you can see that each leaf has been separated, isolated. So that's what we want. That's what I want. So now I've got all the elements that you want in place. Basically, you just want to select all of these layers, make them 3D, and when I go up here to layer, new camera, just make a camera. Um, doesn't really matter what the focal length is, but I'm going to go for 50 millimeter. That's okay. And you just want to go down here to where it says two views horizontal, and basically it'll just give you two views of the camera. So one is here, you can just choose. So this is what the top view of the camera looks like. This line here is just all our layers just stacked up on top of each other. So essentially what you want to do is just start dragging them all out using this one here, this little lever here, which is the Z axis, which will basically push and pull these layers into Z space or 3D space. The first one we want to push back is the forest layer. So you want to push that back really far. And I'm just going to make the layer of it more visible so I'm just going to push it back really far into the distance and obviously you can see like now we've got the sides coming in which is not what you want so all you have to do is just scale it up and if you want just push it up until I'm sort of look like I'm standing on the floor in actual fact what I might do is because this picture that I've chosen is a very narrow picture I might actually change the focal length back to an 85 mil that's just going to change everything, but don't worry about that. So yeah, we can just carry on with what we were doing, which was pushing back the trees layer. You can also just so select the camera and bring the camera backwards. So our starting position is a little bit different and just play around with it. But essentially, I just want to get this forest looking like uh, it's kind of far off in the background and might have to just come in here and mess around with the scale a little bit again. And go on to myself, bring myself down a little bit. It's about there ish is cool. So yeah, if you see over here now, the forest is in the background. I'm over here along with all the leaves. And that's the next step is to just select the leaves layers and also bring them into the foreground and into the background. So that's the first one. Second one can just bring it off into the background a little bit more and just play around with all these leaves. Just to mess, mess it around however you want them to look, wherever you want them to go. Uh, you can also rotate them as well if you want. So on this lever here, basically you've got the X, which will take it from side to side, the Z, which brings it back and forward and the Y, which is easier to do over here on the front facing and that just going to bring it up and down and then yeah as I mentioned you can also rotate and stuff like that but because they're sort of 2D leaves probably we don't want to rotate them too much oh that's essentially it for that step still doesn't obviously look that great the next thing we're going to do is animate the camera so come down here to transform on the camera Okay, so then on the camera, I'm just going to go on the first frame and click the position stopwatch. Go on the last frame and make another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and just decide your starting position. So I'm going to push in all the way in quite close. And then when you play through, it's just going to slowly start to dolly out and reveal myself and the leaves. And the good thing is now you can see like there's a little bit of sort of foreground, background separation between the background, the leaves in the foreground and myself in the middle ground, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, but it still doesn't look that realistic. And the reason for that is 
because of depth of field. So that's one of the great things about this effect is because I took this with my crappy phone, uh, which doesn't really allow for any kind of depth of field, I can now quite realistically fake it in post. And the way to do that is to actually just toggle on depth of field pretty much in the camera. So I'm gonna just scroll down here on the camera, go to camera options and where you see it says depth of field is on already but the aperture is zero so as soon as you start to just push up the aperture you will just start to see some out focus areas but the out focus area is myself at the moment and that is the part that is the part that we want to be in focus pretty much the whole time so what we want to do is go up here to layer camera and going to link the focus distance to the point of interest. Make sure that's clicked. And then what you want to do is go to your picture layer to the transform drop down. And we're going to link using this pick whip thing here, the point of interest. Just take the pick whip, bring it on down and link it with the position. And as you can see there, that's made myself sharp and the background out of focus. And it will actually just stay on myself throughout the whole camera move. And as you can see, the leaves that are in the background as well, they're out of focus. Pretty cool. Apart from my flip flops, <laughs> that look ridiculous. Now, as you can see, it looks a lot better with the uh, depth of field turned on and you can mess around with the depth of field as much as you want here just as you would with a normal camera and um, you can put up the blur level like lower or higher the aperture much lower and higher which will you know make the uh make it more as if it's a higher aperture like a 1.4 or 1.8 or something or you can have more in focus depending on what you want that's i mean you could leave it there if you wanted that's pretty much it i mean obviously it needs color correction to try and match everything because the leaves uh very very bright and saturated compared to the rest of it i'm pretty dark because i was shooting myself into a dark room so you probably want to go through and just color correct all these layers that's pretty easy to do It'd just be as if you would be in uh, premiere pro to be honest you could just stick lumetri color onto the leaves so essentially you could just select all these leaves now just right click pre-compose click OK. Once you do that, it kind of loses its 3D ability. So just come here and select this little icon here and it will just bring back its 3D properties. And then just stick on the Lumetri color onto that pre-comp and just do what you would normally do. So I don't know, probably just bring down saturation quite a bit. Sort of starting to fit a little bit better in terms of all the colors together. Um, and I, for the original one that I did and I put on Instagram, I um, bought in loads more leaves. Um, but obviously, you know the process of that now, so put in as many or as little as you want. That is the essential uh, tips and tricks that you need. The only other last thing that you might want to do is make these leaves move up and down. I added a little bit of movement to them. So just go up to lay a new null object and parent the pre-comp which has the leaves in it so just so that you're not confused that's the leaves parent that to the null and now we can just move this null around as well so position at the beginning position at the end and maybe just bring that a little bit of downward motion onto the leaves as if they're falling down you can see the leaves dropping down as the camera's moving out me with my flip-flops on <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it guys 